so I probably spend a little too much time reading comments on YouTube videos. Uh, and anytime, obviously anytime that we don't run well, there's a lot of, of you should this, or y'all need this type of comments. Usually it's you all need a crew chief, right? Go get an engineer or a crew chief. And we've, we've talked about this and how that sounds great in theory. Uh, but there's a lot of obstacles to that. Um, uh, both being in availability, like actually there being a crew chief out there, uh, that wants to come and have all of YouTube critique what, uh, they're doing, uh, or also the funding side of things, right? And you still see those comments. Like, that's been there the whole time, and it's still there. But the comments that I saw that were interesting this time was, you guys need to do more testing. And that's, when you see people do the, you guys need a crew chief, you see that comment, you kind of roll your eyes at that because there's it's just not something you can just snap your fingers and go do, right? Go get a crew chief that knows dirt late model racing. There's only a limited number of those, and and you know, that's a salary, right? Or in a percentage of winnings and all that stuff. But testing though, I kind of like, I, I just noticed it several comments about you guys need to test more. And that's something that you can do. And it kind of got me to wondering, or it feels like I, I noticed it last year and certainly this year too, where it seems like every time you turn around, there's a video or a picture on Facebook of somebody somewhere testing, right? How much that kind of got me to think and how much testing do you think dirt lake model teams especially at the top level are doing joseph uh more days than they're not <laughs> you mean like in general like more four days, days of a week they're in a race car out of a seven day week that oh counting racing yeah yeah so if they're racing two week two nights on a they're weekend they're two days two days two days somewhere sometimes mm -hmm. okay that you think so? I think that much, yeah. Yeah. We're talking about top level now, mm -hmm. right? Not your your normal regional yeah. type guys, right? Um, yeah. I cool. mean, heck, even that's getting down to that level too. Yeah. Maybe not that much, but it's certainly uh, out out of a out of a thirty day period. I bet you there's uh, eight or ten days these guys test. Mm hmm. In addition to that's on top of then right, racing, you know, yeah. two or three nights a week, or it, you know, depending on where they're go schedule and, and weather. Yeah, I mean, as okay, so we were the plan was to go to Talladega and practice right Thursday night. There was going to be a test yeah. of practice, which is a little different than testing, right? Yeah, wait, yeah, because yeah. when we're talking about these tests that you're talking about, it's usually like what sometimes just one, yeah, one or two cars. Yeah. I know at the beginning of the year you had Rocket, you know, having specific days they were testing, Longhorn specific days they were testing. Uh, but like Talladega, you go there, if if that practice would have gotten in, um, didn't have the rain, I mean, there's how many cars there, you know? like on, You might get on the track three or four times. Yeah. So when we talk about testing, we're talking about... All day. Yeah, or as many laps as you want to make, or as many, I don't, I don't, I don't think they go and just make a ton of laps, but they're doing a lot of go, you know, make a few laps, come back in, let's see what we got, do something else, uh, and try it again. Um, I don't, do you think that's something like, ha, are we, are we missing something there with not being, not testing enough? Do you think? Yeah. I mean, we've tested, we, we went to a racetrack and tested one time in my life at Boyd's. Yeah. Uh, that was years ago. on the way to Fairbury in 2022. <clears throat> yeah. 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 We did that as when one time, uh, I mean, yeah, there's definitely, uh, obviously there's value in it or else they wouldn't do it, you know, but at the same time, you got to know what you're testing or what you want mm -hmm. to test or like have a reason to go and, or have, you know, I don't know. I, I don't feel like I even know what it, what would, what I do when I got there. <laughs> well, you know? Right. I, I think that's part of labs, learning to test. Stuff. Right. Yeah. So, you know, on top of that, uh, to get any sort of valuable test session, we're going to drive three or four hours from home to go do it. There's nothing you can do around here that's going to help you anywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I mean, there's, there's certainly value in it, but you're, if, if we're ready to spend, you know, $2,500 to leave the shop and go test every time we go do it. Is that, what, what is that? Is that the, the rent, the track or? No, I'm just talking about, that's what it's going to cost us to go put laps on our stuff and drive down the road and have stuff to burn up to do it. Hmm. 
I and, on tires too, and, right? And, you know, and, you're not going to test on junk. Right. And factor in lap, laps on your motor. And and like John said, what about ridding the track? I mean, usually it does cost something. I don't know. We, we, had, te- we had asked Sonoya a couple years ago. We were going to come through there or something. I think it was when we were going. To, we actually went to Boyd's instead. Yes, but it they was. they wanted yeah. like $2,000 for them to, uh, to, you know, to get. To have well, that's where you see. That's where you see guys getting together and trying to get, right. you know. Right. A group of guys to offset some of that cost but i know so like going to talladega i know clay harris um they went where'd they go need more need more i saw uh fergie went to ultimate in north carolina um harrington went there as well the harrington was at ultimate um was for, was uh carson ferguson did he go to i-75 oh smoke or i-75 okay. somewhere is one of those tracks with t-mac before that news came um. Hey, if you got if there's any consolation, Carson Ferguson didn't make the show and he tested, and yeah, Clay, Clay, Harris. Clay Harris didn't make the show and he had went and tested somewhere. Um, I don't know. I just uh, I saw that and I found that interesting with the whole y'all need to test more and and I mean that's something you can do right. Like we can load up tomorrow and go test somewhere. I mean, but and, oh, and no, we can't. Our motor's gone. Well, yeah, I, right. But I'm just saying, like <laughs> you. you it's a huge step to go. The usual comments we see is y'all need a crew chief. Y'all need an engineer. It's like, you can't just snap your fingers and make that happen. Right. But we could call a track next week and line up a test session. Right. And it's a lot more feasible to do that. Is that something you feel like we should be investing a little more time in? That's something we could do more of, I guess is, is what I'm getting. We know we're not just snapping our fingers and hiring a crew chief. That person's not really out there and not really financially something we can do, but could that be somewhere where we could look into to improving the program is doing more testing? It's uh, it's it's more to obtainable than a crew chief, but it's also uh, not like you can snap your fingers and go run a test session. We we, we could certainly benefit from it, but like I said, it's just it's just gonna cost a good bit of money to make it all happen. I mean, like you said, okay, say if you go somewhere and says, hey, it's two grand, you can come, re- you can come, we'll have the racetrack ready, you can have it all day. We might even turn the lights on for you. I don't know. Um, and you say if you can find somebody to go in with you, it's a thousand dollars to for the racetrack, and then say if you make fifty laps on your motor and you burn up, say you use two different sets of tires, uh, you burn twenty gallons of fuel, uh, you got the fuel to get there, crew help, like whoever you're paying to be there or on the phone or whatever, um, just be ready to spend four or five thousand dollars. Now you done doubled your amount. You said two thousand. Just be ready. Or twenty five hundred. <laughs> okay, ready. so maybe it's not as maybe easy as I thought it was. Maybe get out for twenty five hundred, but just be ready to spend four or five thousand. Maybe it's not as easy as I thought it was. Shoot. <laughs> just, I'm just saying, like it's. Is it important though? Is it crucial to what these guys that are running up if, front if are if doing? If it wasn't, if it they wasn't, they wouldn't be doing it. it. Mm-hmm. Like, but but it's not important if you just go out there to to go do it. Yeah. You know, like you got to have. Think you you, know, you got to be have things in place and, and know what you're doing in order and, to know yeah. what 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 you're even there to do. One other thought on that, uh, Joshua, from your perspective, do you see like NASCAR? I know anytime we make a comparison NASCAR, people get mad, but they have a certain limited amount of time you can spend on the track, right? I believe as far as non Lucas, I think Lucas and Outlaws do the same. Well, that you can't test at a track they're going to race at the week of, right? or a certain amount of time before oh. um, unless it's like, you know, a hosted test where that everybody can go to, to. Um, that's so hard to deal with. Uh, you know, you're also, you know, there was, I think eight cars that went and tested at Talladega on Monday uh, there the week we raced it or at race um, track made money, right? Like they need, you know, like I, I we're not, I'm not, we're not ready to, make that rule limiting the track's ability to make money. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Um, So I I don't, I mean, and you can't, it's hard to police, right? You know, um, yeah, I I don't, you know, we're not as a series in a position to do that. I think, again, I think it needs to be addressed. I think it's the same reason NASCAR cut back on the amount of tests and they allowed it cost too much. And, you know, the teams that teams are going to do it, you know, and they're going to spend the money. Then they're going to complain about this being too expensive. Uh, and that's not paying enough, right? Like, I, you know, like it's a, I, but what can, I don't feel like it's too, I don't feel like there's a way to truly 
you know, police that the amount of testing that goes on. Yeah. That's unfortunate because it is, you know, further creating that um, divide between, you know, the, the big haves and have teams. nots. <laughs> yeah. The haves and have not have nots. It, it really is, um, you know, and going to just make it harder for, you know, a lower budget team to compete, um, you know, but what I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is there. Yeah. Eh, we'll see where it goes. I don't know. And I, I do think we need to get to a point where we can go test and we know what we're doing, what we're looking for, and we can benefit from it. Um, but it's something something we just never really had the funding to do. Um, but I feel like if you're going to be at that level, you either have to have access information from the people who are doing it or be doing it yourself. 